Hello! In the previous episode, we used the gem iCalendar to generate calendar invites. So here you had a list of games, and next to each game you had a link to add the game to calendar. By pressing this link, it would download an .ics file for this game, and when you click this file in the, your machine, it would add it to your uh, main calendar application. And you see I've added this event. It has a start time, a duration, an address, a description, and a URL. And uh, now, in this episode, we are going to send uh, these uh, kind of calendar invites via email and uh, automatically add them to a user's uh, calendar via email. So, we have uh, already created an uh, iCalendar event service in the previous episode and we have uh, called the service in a controller action right here and uh, we basically uh, had this uh, format ICS that would uh, uh, download a .ICS file that we generate from this uh, iCalendar event service. And now we're going to send this uh, kind of information via email. So to send emails, we'll need to generate a mailer. So we're going to use action mailer for this and we're going to generate a mailer, rails generate a mailer. The mailer is going to be for games. So it is going to be game mailer and our action will be invite, for example. So we have just generated a game mailer. Here it is. We've got the invite uh, action. We've got the invite template and we've got the uh, game mailer preview. Let's preview the email. Let's go to our local host uh, 3000 slash rails slash mailers. And here we have this game mailer invite action. And here we have the preview. So by default, it will be sent from hello at superrails.com because uh, we've got this application mailer where I did set the default uh, URL from, it is going to be sent by default to, to at example.org and we have some kind of a default subject name of the action. So uh, let's try adding an attachment. We want to attach this kind of iCalendar invite. And if we go to the documentation of Action Mailer, we have uh, a script how to add an attachment. So I'm going to uh, say attachments, then we are going to set the attachment file name, let's say invite.ics equals uh, uh, calendar event. And uh, this calendar event is going to be uh, again calling this iCalendar event service. So uh, we will uh, say calendar event equals game iCalendar event new. So we're going to generate this uh, iCalendar file and attach it to this email. Let's see if this works. I will go back to the email preview. And here we have invite.ics. If I download it, it is again a valid uh, file. Okay, let's just customize it to work with a specific game. So uh, we're going to add a button to send this uh, kind of email for a specific game. Let's go to our roots. Here we have our resources games. I'm going to add an action to send uh, an invite for a specific game. So I will say resources games do, member do, then I'll have a post invite. And in the games controller, I'm going to add a new action, uh, def invite. And in this action, I'm going to call game mailer dot with game equals add game dot uh, invite dot deliver now and i'm going to redirect to add a game with some kind of notice uh, like invite send and for this add game to work here i need to add the invite to the set game before action okay and now i can try adding this kind of link uh, uh, send calendar invite to the game partial. So I'll go to game partial and here we have link to add to calendar and we will add button to uh, send email invite. And the path is going to be, let's see, rails roots grab uh, invite. It is going to be, okay, roots. It is going to be invite game path. So invite game path at game. Let's start the server once again. And here we have this send email invite uh, button. 
So going back to the game mailer, we need to get the specific game from the params here. So we will have add game equals params game. And here we are going to have not just game first, but we will have add game. And let's say in the subject, we will have uh, add game dot title. Let's have a look at the preview once again. So undefined method uh, for nil class, maybe I need to restart the server, let's try. Okay, still. So undefined for nil class, let's try params. Okay, the params are empty, so I'll go to the uh, games controller. Uh, game mailer with game, add game. Uh, let's try to do a binding, binding.b. And, uh, okay, yeah, I'm looking at the preview action, and in the preview action I don't have uh, uh, a game defined. So here I will say dot with game equals game dot first for the preview action. So in the preview action we have a game, we've got this invite for the game, and it uh, looks quite fine. Now let's uh, actually try sending this uh, game to a real email address. So in development.rb I currently have a local email sending set up, but I want to deliver this email to a real email address. Now if I click it like this, you see it uh, just opens by a letter opener. It's not what I want. I want to open it in well a real email uh, mailbox. So I have already previously set up uh, my email delivery for production. I'm just going to copy it into my development environment. And yeah, we can leave it as a uh, local host. So with these settings, I want to be able to deliver emails to a real inbox from my development environment. And uh, I will have to specify uh, the email that I want to deliver to. So I will say the email. And uh, now, as I have changed my development.rb environment file, I will have to restart the server. And let me try to deliver an email. So I will click send email invite. And it says that it has been sent. Let's see if I get it in the uh, inbox. Yes, I got it in the inbox. So you see, uh, without uh, actually having to update uh, the icon the invent file, uh, I just uh, attached it as an attachment to the game mailer. And now I have uh, an invite. But you see there is some information missing. For example, I don't have it automatically added to my calendar. The organizer is set to unknown. So we are going to fix these now. Uh, first of all, let's uh, set the organizer. So at the moment it is unknown organizer and let's uh, make it... Uh, let's add the organizer information. So inside the calendar event, we are going to say event.organizer equals and let's go to the documentation and see how we can set the organizer. So um, here is an example. Event.organizer equals uh, mail to, an email address and uh, a name. So uh, uh, we can add our email address or we can add the one that we have uh, by default in uh, our application mailer. So by default it is from superrails.com. So let's uh, set it to uh, application mailer dot default params uh, from. Let's see if this uh, works from the console. I will uh, say Rails console. So. You see, I got the default email and I don't have to hard code it uh, in the code here. And CN will be, let's say, uh, Yaro from Super Rails. So now we have organizer and let's make the IP class not uh, private but uh, uh, public. Okay, let's uh, resend the email. So I will click send calendar invite once again. And let's uh, have a look at what we receive. So I've got a new email. 
And you see, now we do have an organizer, it is zero from super rails, but we still don't see it added automatically to our calendar. So to have this event automatically added to the calendar, we'll have to say uh, something like uh, uh, calendar dot ip method equals request. So here you see we have, uh, yeah, actually we have to add this IP method after publish as far as I remember, otherwise it might not work correctly. So um, let me try to send the email invite once again. And let's see if it is automatically added to the calendar. So uh, you see, in the previous email we didn't have these options of yes, maybe and no. And uh, as we set the IP method to request, now we have the option to say yes, maybe or no. But we want to automatically say yes. So only if we automatically say yes, it will be automatically added to the calendar. So we will have to set up the event attendee, e.attendee equals. And uh, we are just going to copy these, uh, this iCalendar value calendar address. In mail2, I'm again going to hard code uh, an email address, but uh, you don't have to, you can get it in the params the same way I get the game. So uh, I will just copy this email. You see in this application that we are using for the demo, we don't have current user, that's why I'm hard coding it. And instead of a CM, uh, we are going to remove, yeah, let's remove the CM. So we've got the event.attendee. Let's uh, resend the calendar invite once again and see what we receive. Will it be different from this one or not? Okay, so sorry we were unable to update this event in the calendar. So uh, looks like something was wrong. Did I type attendee correctly? Let's see. Yeah, so we have event.attendee. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, now this sorry we were unable to add this event to your calendar is actually a funny problem that I've been struggling a bit with, but uh, the problem in my case was that the ID has already been used by a previous event somewhere in my calendar history. So this unique ID wasn't really unique in my calendar. So to make it even more unique, I'm gonna say something like uh, game uh, or game ID and uh, yeah, just make it more unique. So something like this, for example. And uh, now let me try uh, sending the calendar invite once again. And you see, uh, the event has been added uh, to the calendar, but uh, we see that uh, we have not uh, selected whether we are accepting this event uh, yet. So let's add the event automatically as accepted. So I will say participation status, so pod state will be accepted. Now let me resend the calendar invite once again. Okay, so I'm looking and you see the event has been set as yes by default. So you see I have sent the person to whom we are sending the email also as an attendee to this event and the participation status has been set to accepted. So like this we can push events directly to a user's calendar. And now what if the duration of the event changes? Let's see if it will get updated in the calendar. So I'm going to change the duration of the event. Let's make it not uh, two hours, but let's make it uh, four hours long. Let's say 18, four, uh, five hours long. I'll click update game and I will send email invite once again. And let's see if the duration of the event in the calendar will get updated on its own. So you see, we have sent the update and without any uh, end user interaction, the event has been updated in his calendar. So works uh, quite nicely. And uh, what if the event gets cancelled? We can also change the event status. Let's say e.status equals. Okay, so event.status will be cancelled. 
and let's send uh, an email update. So I will send the send email invite. And now I expect the event to, do, to vanish from the calendar because it was canceled. And you see, it did actually vanish. So uh, yes, I think that's uh, about it. Uh, we have uh, managed to send the uh, email invites and they are automatically added to users' calendars. Thanks for being with me and have a great time. Goodbye.